G'day guys, I'm Sean. Welcome to week four of What Would You Do Wednesday. This week we are looking at concussion, so if you saw the video, you can see that it's quite a severe concussion. And we're just going to go through a couple of our SMA tools on how to deal with concussion. The first one here is our five R's of concussion. So as you saw in the video, it was quite a severe concussion. There was a loss of consciousness, but that is not always associated with every single concussion. So there are a number of signs and symptoms such as holding of the head, um, balance problems and also having a dazed look on the athlete's face. I know from personal experience, double vision and headaches are a big one for myself. So that once you've seen a couple of these signs, you move on to the next step, which is removing the athlete from play. So this revolves around a simple saying for us is, if in doubt, sit them out. Um, as you can see in my hand here, I have the pocket concussion recognition tool. This is a handy tool for the sidelines if you do have a player with a suspected concussion. It runs through the first steps there of recognising and removing the athlete from play. So down the bottom here, it does have a whole range of signs and symptoms. And as we said before, it's quite broad. So it could be a number of different signs and symptoms or just a few, they're all different. There's also a handy little thing on the back with the memory function test. It's just a range of simple questions that you can ask the athlete just to gauge where they're at. So an example of a few of them, which quarter of the game is it now? Are you in front? Did you win last week? Simple things like that. So this is a good tool for the first couple of steps in the five R's. The next step is referral. So once you do have an athlete with a suspected concussion, it is best to refer them to a doctor or a specialised medical personnel. Once you have referred them, the key is to rest. So this is not just physically, but it's also important to mentally rest the athlete. This revolves around trying to decrease the amount of cognitive sensory, sensory information getting to the brain. So you want to avoid things like watching TV, video games. I know you might think that's quite relaxing, but when you have had a concussion, it can overload the brain. So you want to cut out all those kind of things. The next R, the final one, is return. So this revolves around the athlete returning to play. So in order to return to play, all of the symptoms must be stopped, I guess, and they also have to be signed off by a doctor again. So that's the five hours of concussion. As you can see here, we've also got a number of resources. This is our one for parents. So concussion can also occur in junior athletes. So this is one of our resources that deals with how to deal with it from a parent's perspective. And we've also got how to deal with it from player's perspective and partners, so that more revolves more around senior sport. If you do want to find out any more information about our concussion resources, just visit www.concussioninsportproject.com.au. If that still doesn't satisfy you, we do have a specialist speaker, Sarah Harris, who is a PhD candidate. She's done a study of the 2015 waffle season with all the waffle players regarding concussion, and she will be pre presenting at our conference. <laughs>